Hi all, Jack here and welcome to this video on standard events for the Facebook Pixel. If you've watched our previous video on setting up the Facebook Pixel, which I strongly recommend you familiarise yourself with before getting started with standard events, you should already have a Facebook Pixel collecting data on your website. This will be tracking your visitors anytime they view your content, add an item to their basket, initiate the checkout or purchase an item. But what about the other actions that are important for you specifically? Let's say for example you're running a business where you provide a service. Your clients are on a journey through the sales process and more often than not this will likely start with an inquiry or booking a demo. Another instance might be where you're focusing on building your email list and you've added a sign up option to your website. How do you track these options when someone completes these actions? This is where standard events comes in handy. These allow you to tell Facebook what the action is that you would like to track and how it occurs. This can all be set up through a simple tool that Facebook provides for you in Facebook Business Manager. I'll show you how this is done now. To get started, open up your Facebook Business Manager and head to the hamburger menu in the top left. Select Events Manager. Click the Settings tab along the top here. Then scroll down to Event Setup, where you'll want to click Open Event Setup tool. Enter in the URL of your website and then click Open Website. Your website will open up in a new window like so, but you should notice that a little window has appeared in the top left here. This is your event setup tool that will help you to define your actions. You can choose to either track whenever a button is clicked or whenever someone lands on a particular page. Create will have set up most of the URL tracking options for you, so in this video we'll focus on how to track button clicks. So let's take a look at one of the examples I introduced earlier and set up an event to track inquiries. I've opened up the Contact Us page on the website and I have my contact form here. We can track each time this form is sent by tracking the Send Message button. We know if someone clicks this button, the action will have been completed and we will receive a message in our inbox. To do this, click Track New button on the Event Setup tool. Facebook will then highlight the buttons available to track on the page. If I click Send Message, a new window will open up in the top left here. If you click the drop down box, you can select what type of event the action is from this list. It doesn't matter which you pick, this just means that whenever the action is completed, Facebook will record it as one of these events. For this example, the lead option is probably the most appropriate so I'll select this and hit confirm. This event will have now been set up and when we finish with the event setup tool, Facebook will track whenever this action occurs. You can do this for any buttons on your website, so be sure to figure out which are most important to you and set up any more events in exactly the same way using the most appropriate event types. When you're finished with the event setup tool, click finish setup to confirm your changes. You can review all the events you've added here, and when you're happy, click Finish. You'll be taken back to Facebook Business Manager. All that's left to do is to make sure your events are working as they are supposed to. To do this, click the Test Events tab. Enter your URL in the Test Browser Events section, if it's not already there, and click Open Website. When your website opens, all you need to do is carry out your events. So if I go to the contact page and click the send message button, that should record the lead event that we created. Now if I go back to our Facebook Business Manager tab, you should be able to see this event has been recorded. If this is the case, your setup is complete and you can leave your events to run and collect the data you need. Now that you understand the basics of how events are set up on your website with the Pixel, there's a wealth of new tracking opportunities you can explore to get more specific data about your user's behavior. You can take this further with custom conversions, which allow you to get even more granular about your events, with the option to monitor combinations of actions, as well as assign values to your events for better reporting. We'll cover these in the next video, but for now, if you found this helpful, please do drop us a like down below. Ask us any questions you have in the comments, and if you want to hear more from us, make sure to subscribe as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.